Okay, greetings. Welcome to J2 Algo Trader and Ninja Trader 8 Super Dom. How to use it, how to use some of the automated systems that it has. I am John Moss with J2 Algo Trader. You know, quite honestly, the Super Dom was the significant feature that this software had that caused me initially to switch over to it. You know, we're going back, it's like, I don't know, eight years, and I felt like, you know, it was something I really needed and I wanted prior to actually building out strategies. And for those of you especially who are new to trading, this is your first step in building out strategies is evaluating how your entries will behave, your stops, what have you, by creating some of these items inside the Superdom and watch what happens. Other than that, there are some very useful features depending on the type of trade that you're taking and depending on the type of instrument that you're on. Obviously, of course, the assuming you know, but there's a big difference between the ES and the NQ in terms of how fast they move and the range and volatility. All of these things matter. I'm going to set up some training today. We're going to be looking at the ES, mainly because I am doing this utilizing a simulated feed so that you can see how these systems perform. I have this little trend box right here, and I can adjust both the speed and direction of where price is going. Do note, of course, I have the primary Super Dom as they have it. And there are many of you, of course, who like to use the chart trader. Of course, you can do the same thing that I'm about to set up here with the chart trader as well. So here we go. I made it a point. I just came along and got rid of all of mine. So I've got nothing in here. We're going to just build them out because I do have a variety of systems that I've created and depending upon what kind of trade I want to take. So let's start with the most basic. Start with custom. Order quantity will be one ticks. Yes. And we'll just default to the one target. Uh, traditionally, I have on the ES a 10 point stop. It doesn't necessarily mean I'll allow it to hit it, but I like to keep my entries out of harm's way. Talking about those spikes, by now you should have seen them because you'll see them every day where price will just flash downward, for example, you know, five, seven points, and then boom, flash right back up. A lot of times you can get taken out by that. This is why in the strategies I very much prefer on bar close. Anyway, so we'll start off with a 10 point stop and I'll put an 80 tick target here. No stop strategy. Save as template. And I'll call this basic 8040. Click OK. And there it is. I'll make a market entry. We'll run the trend up. Now I'm going to speed this up. As you can see, my target is 80 ticks above. My entry made along. My stop is 10 points below. Notice. I can hover over it and then holding down the left mouse button, you can move it up to wherever you want it. I'll put it right there. I'll grab it again. Move it back down. Just make sure you're clicking on the center when you move this around. So you are free to move your targets and stops around as much as you like. So let's go ahead and let's grab our target. And let's move it down here. Now let's let it come up and hit it. Target filled. Okay. Move my trend back to neutral. Let's go to level two. So I'll come along here, I'll click on edit. I'm going to keep my order quantity at one again. And we'll leave stop and profit, same thing. All right, so let's come along and let's make a stop strategy. This is what I thought was really cool when I first learned how to play with the Superdome. We're not going to do an auto trail. We will go profit trigger. We're going to set that to eight ticks, so two points, and we're going to say plus two, okay? So let's just assume for a second we're going for a scalp. So notice that this is a stop strategy template, so we'll call this scalp stop. We'll go OK there. And I'll tell you what, let's go ahead and let's set our profit target to five points. And we'll save this as a template. We'll call this basic scalp. OK, so now we have a basic scalp. OK, so I'm going to set the trend a little slower here because we're going to let it drift up two points and you can watch what happens. Let's go ahead and jump in market. Order filled. You see our target's only five points away. I'm going to speed this up a little bit. All right, here comes our eight tick. And there you have it. Cash register goes off. We've moved our stop. We are guaranteed at least two ticks, so we're in a safe zone. Speed this up again. Come up and hit our target. Target filled. And we're out. Okay, bring our trend back to neutral. Okay, so let's move on to level three. This time around, let's uh, go ahead and bring our profit target down, and we'll just put that at 60 for now. Go over here to our stop strategy, hit the edit button. This time, let's change some things around a bit. We're going to say at a profit trigger of seven ticks, 
we will move our stop to minus 20 ticks, so minus 5 points. Okay? So at least in the moment, we're not taking a full hit if it reverses on us. And now this auto trail. Previously, we have not used any kind of trailing stop, and now we will. Notice we can do up to three different steps. So we're going to do one step. And note that we have three settings, proper trigger, frequency, stop loss. So our first movement happened at 7 ticks. We moved to negative 20. So why don't we come along and say at a profit trigger of, of four points we will move our stop loss to 14 ticks behind our profit trigger currently we have that set to a frequency of one so that means at every tick we would be moving our stop loss 14 ticks behind our current price okay and we'll go ahead and set that for every two ticks that we move the stop loss will move up with it, provided, of course, it's moving in our direction. Save that as a template. We'll call this 14 trailing stop. This one we'll call 6040 T stop 14. Save it. Okay. All right. So let's get in. Order filled. Watch it work. Okay, you just heard our first. We're now five points behind our entry. That was our second one. And now, and you can see it moving every time the price moves two ticks away. Our favor, we're trailing it by 14. Let's go ahead and move our target down. Because even while this is going on, you can still move your target. And you can move your stop for that matter. Check this out. I can grab it and put it down here. And still it will come back and reset. Target filled. Okay. Now let's move on to level four. Come over here and click the edit button. We're going to leave uh, one contract and 40, 60. Stop versus profit. Come over here. Stop strategy. Hit the edit button. So what shall we do now? Let's make a two-step. So what I'll do here, let's go ahead and keep our current trailing stop, but we're going to add something new to it. When we get to a higher profit, we're going to close in on the stop. So right now it's set at four points. So we're going to tighten the reins up a little bit. We're going to come and say... At seven points, we're going to have our stop trail at nine ticks. Give us a little margin of safety. We'll increase the frequency to three. So every three ticks that price moves in our favor, we will readjust to nine ticks below our current price point. Save it. And I guess we'll just call this, I got misspelled trailing there. Come along and call this 14.9 tighter to trail stop okay save that all right so let's go check this out let's go along the again and we're in all right heard her cash go off five points behind the entry all right hit our first profit trigger following through And now our 14 has kicked in. Those last three or 14s kicked in, and now we've hit that seven point mark. Notice we are now tighter. It'll wait for three ticks in our favor. Remember again, you can move your stop any time you want. It'll come right back once that new trigger has been hit. Bring our target down. Target filled. All right. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up here, but obviously you can add another step if you want to. And in furtherance, cancel that, come back here. You can add as many targets as you like. Now, you can come along and do that, and you can even create a different stop system or use another stop system on that second target. As a general rule, if you come along and do something like that, 
you should always fix it so that let's say for example on this first target you're going after a smaller tick value say you want to go after five points instead of ten uh, remember the math game you should always have at minimum equal risk reward if not higher reward there's a lot of systems out there that can have really small targets and great big stops and they produce wonderful profit ratios right up to you get smoked on your stop so just remember the math minimum equal risk reward that is a point of course that I, I cover a lot in my other videos and even though I may start off with a 10 point target and 10 point stop that's just what I start with doesn't mean I'm going to keep it that way you know on the ES I'm definitely not fond of having a 10 point stop and I'll move it up and just in that initial moment of entry I set it up like that because stop runs are pretty common and especially in a long market you know you get those 10 point smash downs take your stop out and then they just keep going learn that one the hard way uh, you got more features here also I have not as a general rule ever bothered to use these however they are there you can learn more about them through Ninja Trader folks this video was obviously for relative beginners uh, there are a series of videos that we have produced regarding the strategy builder we cover a variety of topics certainly find more of those on our channel of course here at YouTube and other than that we are concluded here ladies and gentlemen till next